This is CBS. Golden sweets, honey treats, crunch and mix and fun to eat. That's why we all love our honey gold. See that shake, here it crunch. See those get go much, much, much. We all love the taste of honey gold. Well, it should come as no surprise. Kids love every shape and size. Love what honey gold provides. That shape and honey taste they pride. Honey, 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 honey. Open wide, come inside. Crunch and till you're satisfied. Everyone, one, one, one loves honey gold. Part of a complete breakfast. Yeah. Like Rice Krispies, try triples. We think you'll do a triple take. Triples is crisp like Rice Krispies and tastes so good, you might just do a triple take. Triples has tasty Rice Krispies, hearty wheat crisps, and sunny corn crisps for a taste that could have you doing a triple take. So if you like Rice Krispies, taste triples. From General Mills, we think you'll do a triple take. When you rule what's kind of weird and you wish that you weren't there Close your eyes and you can be Puppet Babies will return after these messages. Morning! Time for a healthy breakfast. Don't worry, your kids won't hide from it. A cereal made from whole grain oats. Don't worry, your kids will eat it. It's Quaker Oat Life. Lightly sweetened inside, roasted toasted oats outside. Life tastes so delicious. Unless they're weird, your kids will eat it. Waldo's in life! Could I have the box? Uh-uh. Could I see the game? Uh-uh. Could I look at the trading card? Now, kids can find Waldo games and puzzles and trading cards in Life Cereal. Could I at least have some Life Cereal? Like Rice Krispies, try Triples. We think you'll do a triple take. Mm. Triples is crisp like Rice Krispies and tastes so good, you might just do a wow. triple take. Triples has tasty Rice Krispies, hearty wheat crisps, and sunny corn crisps for a taste that could have you doing a triple take. So if you like Rice Krispies, taste triples. From General Mills, we think you'll do a triple thing. And now, back to Muppet Baby. Is it time yet, Professor McBrainy? Well, if our calculations are correct, it should be here any second now. Hey, eh, Dr. Frog? I'm uh, well, uh, gee, I'm not sure, Professor McBrainy. Hey, maybe you should look in your telescope, Dr. Frog. Uh, good idea, Dr. Bear. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Nope, I don't see anything yet. I don't believe it. You fell for the old black eye in the giant telescope trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I think this is it, guys. How can we be sure? Um, well, we have to wait for the... <gasps> oh, Zora, come. help me down. <laughs> oh, well. Uh -oh. Is it here yet? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow! It's here! It's here? Hey, get off of me! Got it! He's got to put back in the nursery! It's a rotten egg! Hurry! Come on! Hold it! What took you so long? Well, we had a little trouble getting through the mess you left in the hallway. Yeah, Gonzo. You better clean it up before Nanny sees it. One teeth sitting in a mess and they jump all over ya. Let's raise the bunnies! Bunnies! All right! Gee, they look extra funny today. Yeah, let's get started. Hey, where's Nanny? <gasps> 
Nanny said she was busy this morning and would have to meet us in the comics later. Oh. Gee, I wanted to read the funnies now. Wait a minute, guys. Maybe we could read the funnies ourselves. Huh? Sure. Look at this one. There's hardly any words. I'll bet we could make up the story just by looking at the pictures. Great idea, Carla. So go ahead. Me? Yeah. Read us Charlie Brown, Kermit. And make it funny. Well, um, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, uh, Charlie Brown is... Getting ready to fly a kite. We can see that, Kermit. Get to the funny part. Yeah. yeah. Hurry up. Kermit? Charlie Brown starts running with his kite, and then, hmm? Yeah? Well, I'm not sure. Charlie Brown says something, and then... Wait a minute! What does Charlie Brown say, Kermit? Well, I don't know. Make something up! Yeah, something funny! Real funny! And scary! And full of adventure! And weird! And... Huh? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny, Kermit! Oh, good grief. Good job, Kermit. Is it my turn? Hey, Gonzo, I thought you were cleaning up the hallway. That's right, I was. Now I'm not. See? <laughs> oh. I'll confuse him with logic. <laughs> oh, you can't confuse me, Gonzo. If you don't clean up your mess, we'll all get in trouble. But I... He's right, Gonzo. Cheers. Uh-huh. You better go do it. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. This is gonna be tougher than I thought. Without warning, Space Cadet Gunzo found himself teleported to the hostile planet Gashawbo, assigned to collect millions of specimens for scientific purposes, while avoiding the many dangerous pitfalls all around him. All around? <laughs> Yes. You mean there's more? Certainly. 
piggy worth a lot invited her fighting next door neighbors into apartment 3B for some worth a lot words of wisdom. Yes, sir. No, sir. Ha <laughs> ha. Listen, you two. No problem was ever solved by Yummy. Huh? It wasn't? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. And they have lots more words of wisdom. Want to hear them? Uh, uh-uh. Attention time, shape nine. Oh, what a rogue and peasant's play the mind. Nah, that's no good. What? What a joke. And let us laugh, am I? That's better. Gonzo, you don't belong in this comic strip. I don't? Oh, isn't this apartment 2B? No, this is apartment 3B. 2B or not 2B? Does it really make any difference? It's to me. No, listen. Uh, uh, uh. Remember, my problems are never solved by yelling at Now, where have I heard of that before? Wow, look at this place. Yeah, Gonzo, it's even worse than before. It's going to take you forever to clean up this mess. Mess? What mess? Once again, we join Renegade Space Cadet Gonzo. This time on the notorious planet Andromachoke, the largest landfill in the galaxy. Trash heap to the constellations. What a dump. That's what I said. Oh. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to read my favorite comic, Spider-Girl. Wait a minute, Skeeter. I always thought it was called Spider-Man. No, nope. Spider-Girl. It sure looks like Spider-Man. You can't tell who's under that costume, Rolf. Gee, I never thought of that. It could even be Spider-Dog. Huh? This is the Daily Flugelhorn, and this is Peter Barker. Ace News picture taker. But Peter Barker has another secret identity. This is a special daily Google Horn bulletin. Bad guys are down at the warehouse stealing all kinds of stuff. Bungling burglar alarms. This sounds like a job for Spider Dog. So get going already. Right. Ah. Huh? Hey, Rob, you're in the wrong comic strip. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Bad guys, better fear! Spider Dog is here! Walloping Web Slinger! I ran out of newspaper! Now what do I do? Hey, you! Why don't you come down here and start a new row? Great idea, Spider Man! Nice spider swing, Shorty. Good. But you gotta work on those landings. Right. Look, the warehouse. Hey, who are you? Spider Girl, of course. Well, this is my adventure, Spider Girl. Oh, yeah? Well, you're not gonna catch too many bad guys hanging from a flagpole. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> Boy, you gotta work on those landings. I know, I know. Listen, Spider Dog. I'm the only spider hero around here, see? Uh, uh. Ooh, yuck! <laughs> no way, spider girl! I'm the spider hero around here! Watch! Yeah, yeah, you missed me! Whoa! <laughs> Didn't miss you that time! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Bouncing babies! Looks like I'll have to handle this caper myself. Hey, hey you kids, cut that out. Don't you know there's only one Spider-Man? Sorry, Mr. Jones. Oops. Come on, Wolf. Let's get out of here. Oh, boy. And now, these messages. Now, create your own Terminator with the Bio Flesh Regenerator. I'm back. 
Yeah? Think again. Battle damage. Add flesh compound. Terminator created. Terminator. I'm back. <laughs> Blacktron Collection from Lego. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. They are four who must function as one. For one breakneck minute, they will hurtle down a swerving tunnel of sheer ice. They call it fun. Olympic Winter Games are coming to CBS. Fasten your seatbelts and share a moment with the world. Well, Captain, your peanut butter crunch bird's the most wonderful animal I've ever seen. With the most wonderful eggs, filled with my sweet, crunchy peanut butter crunch cereal. Come on, let's bag that bird. Froggies! <laughs> Time to swing into action. <laughs> You're not lying. <laughs> Peanut butter crunch is a delicious part of a balanced breakfast. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. I can't believe it. We read all the bunnies already. There's no more? Gosh. Now we have to wait a whole week to read them again. This is awful. Hey, maybe we don't have to wait. Huh? I mean, why don't we draw our own bunny? A piggy? Come on! We don't care about the front page. We can hardly read. And we don't want the one act. I'll tell you what we need. Well, this is ridiculous! 
Draw my most favorite comic strip, Peanut. Peanut? Ooh, that's my favorite right too. Let me see. But where's Lucy and Charlie Brown and the rest of the kids? Well, um, uh, I can't draw people very good, Piggy. I see what you mean. Hmm. I guess I'll just finish up this tree. Look at this place. A perfect spot for a comic strip character, and I can't draw. Hey, what's that? Bro, what are you doing here? Well, I heard you needed some peanuts for your funnies, so I thought I'd help out. Gosh! Boy, somebody sure drew this piano out of tune. Hiya, Carmo boy! Hey, if it's peanuts you want, I'm your girl. Huh? Butterstock Skeeter's the name. Great balls for game. Here, catch. All right. You got it. You got it. I do. Nice catch. I think I have a deep-rooted need for approval aggravated by the fact that I'm kind of short and green. Nope, that's not it. You just can't draw. Oh, gosh. Thanks a lot, Piggy. Wait until you get my bill. Sheesh. That's bad, huh? I think it's adorable, Kermie. Hey, Kermie, Piggy, come and look at the comic strip's animal made. No, 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 no. Where are we? Yeah, animals. Just what did you do? These are the old comics we read this morning. Uh-uh. No, lucky. Uh -huh. huh? Gosh, they do look kind of different. Yeah, they're all mixed up. No mixed up. Mixed up. Huh? No show. Wah, 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 wah. Funny, funny. Where are we? Gee, I think this is Blondie and Dagwood's house. Gotta run, Blondie. I'm late for work. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Wait a second. Those aren't my kids. Sheesh. Come on, let's get out of here. Which way should we go? Let's try this way. Hey! It's that comic strip about the funny soldiers in the desert. I wonder where the drinking fountain is. Uh, Fuzzy, there's no water in the desert. Really? Then what's that? Huh? Yeah. Oh. Fuzzy! Sorry. Gosh. I hope that Frankie doesn't mind us borrowing his boat or his hats. Hey, where are we anyway? I'll climb up and see where we are. Ow! Hey! I ran out of space! Now that's no problem. We just ran out of ocean. Abandoned comic strip! Hey, look! It's Gonzo! Correction, fellow child, my 
and dogs for trees and bears? Never! Ready to read the funny papers now? Sure, Nanny, but we want to read them to you. What? Uh-huh. We found out that we can make up really great stories just by looking at the funny pictures. Well, that sounds wonderful, kids. I can hardly wait. You can come and get me as soon as you clean up the mess in this hallway. Now you're playing with power, super power. You look nice, boss. Shut up, Chip. It's a disguise to get some cookie crisp cereal. Please watch my baby, Mr. Cookie Cop. Certainly. Cookie crisp. Oh, no. Oh, yes, Miss Cookie Crook. Cookie crisp cereal is part of this complete breakfast. That's the way the cookie crook crumbles. Oh, boy. Hey, Joey, I got some stuff you just gotta try. What is it? Pot. You know, marijuana. Oh, well, I don't know. What are you, chicken? Joey's in a jam. What should he do? Uh, cake. Get a pizza. Excellent. Get a pizza. Get real. Get You got it. Let's see if Joey's that smart. Pop, I'm not chicken. You're a turkey. He's right. Drug dealers are dorks. Don't even talk to them. Cowabunga!
Hello, this is Garfield. Don't you just hate it when someone talks over the music at the end of the show? Yeah, they wanted me to plug my friend Grimmy, who shows on next, and remind you that I'm on later. But hey, I have way too much respect for you to do that. Rescue 911, a race to save a life. That's the most devastating wound I've ever seen. We didn't have a lot of time left. Kevin was beginning to die. Rescue 911. This is CBS. You 
shouldn't interfere with firemen. I know, but it's just, well, see, I'm a dog. And when I see a fire hydrant, it's like, it's calling to me. Here I am. Here I am. Let's go home, Grimmy. Especially yellow hydrants. Yellow hydrants have low, sultry voices. They put the fire out. That's what hydrants are for. Yeah, I suppose they're good for that, too. <laughs> Let's see now. Little boy blue, come blow your nose. <laughs> now that's not good. Oh dear, who could that be? Oh, maybe it should be a musical instrument. <laughs> Little boy blue, come blow your saxophone. <laughs> no, trumpet. Uh, harmonica? Ocarina, yes. <laughs> yes. Are you Mother Goose? Oh, why, yes. The Mother Goose who writes all those books for children. Uh, why, yes, I am. Those books with all the stories about evil, wicked witches. <laughs> yes, dear. I thought so. Uh -oh. I'm toast. Help! Witch! Wicked witch! You're not getting away from me, that you say. Hello? Listen, I'd like to report a witch. Well, what do you mean, describe her? Dressed in black, she's got a wart, and she's a witch! She's a... Oh. Ribbit. Ribbit. Room, front and center. I have to go win an award. Ta -da. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mother Goose should have dinner ready for us by now. Ah, dinner. <sighs> the next best thing to garbage. <laughs> oh, Ma, we're home. Ma? Yoo-hoo, Ma! She must be in the kitchen. Ribbit. Ribbit. Hey, Frog, you better get out of the house before Ma Goose sees you. Grimmy, teach me your Ma! She doesn't like slimy things around the house. You know, like frogs or snakes or insurance salesmen. Ribbit. Ribbit. She's not Ribbit. here. Hey, but may maybe she's in the bedroom. Nope, not in here. Uh, not in here. Mommy Goose, <laughs> Mommy Goose. <laughs> not in here. Her car's in the garage. What do you think happens? I don't know. She's not... Hey, Frog, come on. Hop on out of here. Boy, he's really broken up about me, isn't he? She's not anywhere in the house. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. No matter how much effort it takes, no matter how difficult, we're going to fix our own dinners. But, Grimmy, Mother Goose is missing. You're right. What am I saying? Mother Goose is missing. Come on, Attila. We've got to do something. What are we going to do? Call the police. That's what we're going to do. We're going to call the police. Oh, I have such good ideas. Grimmy, it's me. It's me. Grimmy, Grimmy, Grimmy. And we're only minutes away from the start of the Miss Witch Beauty pageant to select the ugliest witch in the world. Even now, the contestants are backstage removing their makeup. Now let's see how this looks. Oh, it's perfect. You're wasting your time. I have this contest all sold out. You, you couldn't put a curse on a blind date. Oh, yes. Well, I'll have you know, I just turned Mother Goose into a frog. Mother Goose, darling, the woman who writes those insulting stories about us. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Oh, I'm a fit to win the talent competition now. Well, where is this frog? Oh, but, but I, you, I left her there. Oh, yeah. Sure, darling. <laughs> what a liar. I did so turn Mother Goose into a frog. I'll prove it. Broom, front and center. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. I can't do that here. <laughs> All right, now I'll need a description of the alleged missing goose. She's completely gray. Except for her hair. That's white. Well, I'm going to put out what we down at the station called your all-points bulletin. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? 
Yeah, yeah. All points bulletin, okay? Hurry up and find Mother Goose. My keen, well-trained detective instincts tell me. Ribbit. Get this frog off of me. Sorry. Come on, off the policeman, Froggy. This is your last warning. Hit the pond. Grimmy, it's me. Oh, I have to try something else. All right. As I was saying, my well-trained detective instinct tells me your goose is miles from here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Miles, miles from here, yeah. I'll look for clues in here. I wouldn't go through that door if I were you. Hey, don't you tell me how to run an investigation, Pooch. Don't you tell me. When Frank Fogarty's on a case, he doesn't miss a clue. Or a basement. I'll get it. Maybe that's her. Okay. I, uh, checked out the basement and, uh, <coughs> everything's A-OK. -okay. Seems I've lost my frog around here somewhere. I'll handle this. Frank Fogarty, police department. I believe I can ascertain the whereabouts of the alleged amphibious animal. I think he's going to find her frog. Oh, I, I knew I should have gotten a word processor. Nope, gay frog. Game's over. Time to go. Wait! Read what I typed! Stop! Is this the frog you reported missing? Yes! Huh? Yes! Huh? Yes! Huh? Yes! Huh? Oh, just give me my frog! I can't imagine where Mother Goose went. She even left right in the middle of... Oh, no! Grammy! <laughs> Maybe we can dust for your mother goose's fingerprints, huh? Do feathers leave prints? Grimmy, look at this! Let me see that. Help, evil witch turned me into frog. Signed, Mother Goose. P.S. Help. No, I know, I don't think this is significant. Grimmy, that frog was Mother Goose! <laughs> <laughs> Dilla, this calls for a brilliant and heroic plan. Like what? I was hoping you had one. <laughs> this is an open and shut case, my friend, an open and shut case. The witch is in a lot of trouble, you know what I mean? Yeah, huh? yeah, huh? yeah, huh? you want a trouble. Turning a goose into a frog. That's a violation of Section 8, Paragraph 6 of the Penal Code. Or is it the fish and game laws? Well, whatever it is, I'm gonna slap the old cuffs on her. That's what we do with your basic criminal types. We slap the old cufferoonies right on. Hello. Grimmy, come on! We gotta find Mother Goose! But she spoke to me. She? This one's a she, I'm pretty sure. How can you t No! I, I, I don't want to know. Come on, the policeman needs us. Oh, he doesn't even know we're missing. Too many criminals these days, my friend. Too many criminals, that's the problem, you know what I mean? Huh? 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 Everywhere you go these days, there's criminals. I visited the prison the other day. Why, the place was full of them. Just full of them. <laughs> no, now that we found each other, you can't separate us. <laughs> don't worry, I'll never leave you. <laughs> Grimmy, we can't stop him. Hey, did you see these posters? Tonight, Miss Witch Beauty Pageant, Slime Auditorium. Witch Beauty Pageant? <laughs> Grimmy, I think I know where Mother Goose is. Mother Goose, what are we hanging around here talking to fire hydrants? Let's go. Bye, hydrant. <laughs> Don't think of this as goodbye. Think of it as arrivederci. Our great finalist is the Wicked Witch of the North. Wilma comes from Transylvania. Her hobbies are preparing poison apples and changing small children into flying squirrels. Wilma, here's your question. If you could wish for anything for the world, what would it be? Well, I would wish, um, I would wish for plague, pestilence, and famine. <laughs> 
as I would wish that someone drops a house on her mind. Our next finalist is the Wicked Witch of the East. Hey, this place is crawling with wicked witches. I know. There's Mother for, uh, Goose. Yes, and I would like to see every princess in the world turn into a heel monster. <laughs> Thank you for letting me care. Uh -huh. Thank you, Wicked Witch of the East. Before I introduce the last finalist, I would like to announce the winner of the Mr. Geniality title. This award goes to the contestant who is the best light, the most sociable, and the nicest. And the winner is, for the 39th year in a row, no one! <laughs> well, our last finalist is the Wicked Witch of the Southwest. Wanda's hobbies are collecting ruby slippers and building sugar-free gingerbread houses. Wanda, what is your proudest achievement? Well, for years, the good name of witch has been soiled by one woman. For years, she's written stories in which witches are, are evil, ugly things that always looms at the end. I speak, of course, of Mother Goose. to pick up a frog. He took the frog! Stop him! We're in trouble! Grab it. What could they do to us? <laughs> you have an ass! <laughs> <laughs> Will I? Oh, there you are. I've been working on this witch thing. Give me about three weeks and I think I can crack this. After all, witches are basically not very bright. Neither are some detectives. You know what I mean? Ribbit. Huh? 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 Ribbit. Ronald McDonald here, welcoming you to the McNugget Game! <laughs> Our first event, gymnastics. Good luck, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Under the ring now for boxing. Gotcha. <laughs> We've got a close one at the hurdles. Looks like he won by a nose. Let's see what our judges think. Yes, <laughs> Dave. Under the high jump. Hi. Hi. Don't forget your favorite event, Ronald. Oh, yeah. When you believe in magic. Archery. <laughs> BK Dinosaurs. The shoes with diamonds in them are for everybody who wants to grow up and because lots of you want to but many of you also want to be and don't forget and also and finally so no matter what you want to be you can wear BK Dinosaur the diamond that bounce at Foot Locker
Traveling with a cargo of dreaded outlaws, the rebel hunter is down. Its prisoners escape. There's only one hope. The Lego Mania. Space police mobilized. Planetary patrol. Rock and roll. Of these space suits, there is no escape from this righteous justice. Today there is peace, but only the Lego Maniac knows what the stars hold for tomorrow. Most cosmic. The Lego System Space Police Collection. Each sold separately, only from Lego. Aloha, kids. Dino Pebbles has three new marshmallows. Then what I wouldn't do to taste them. Aloha. Chief. My Princess Hula needs a partner for the siphon contest. Certainly. And I need a marshmallowy mouthful of these new suns, palm trees, surfboards, and of course, Dino's. Marshmallowy Dino Rishes. <laughs> Dino? Barney, my Dino Pebbles. Is this sort of so? Pumps Dino Pebbles cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. is my hero. I can be like Carl. I'm brave. I'm heroic. I'm strong. Baby, bath time. I'm out of here. Gotcha. You're gonna take a bath whether you like it or not. I like it not. Vroom, vroom. And here we go. Grimmy, you come back here. You oh, have fleas oh. and you need a bath. Please? Huh? Please? On my own personal self? Is this possible? I just saw the most frightening thing in the world. Your mother's come to visit? It had the biggest mouth in the world and razor-sharp teeth. Yeah, that's her all right. Aldo, I need to get away. I want you to take me someplace I've never been before. How about the kitchen? Aldo! I couldn't have fleas, could I? Garbage! Ooh, I hope it's full of old coffee grounds. I haven't had my caffeine today. Gotcha oh. again. No fair. Oh, where's the ref? And what's wrong with the way I keep house? Everything smells like an old dog around here. You don't like it? Go someplace else. Maybe I will. You know I've got half a mind to actually leave. You got half a mind, period. Let go of that. I don't want a bath. It dries out my pores. It frizzles my fur. Come on, let go. Oh, no. <laughs> to let go. Dog making for Okay, Marge. That's the way you want it. I'm going somewhere I'll be appreciated. Ah, well, the circus has already left town. Oh, we have to do something about those fleas on you. Who needs her? She's not the only parasite in the world. I'll find another place to live. Do you see an infestation of fleas, Attila? I see fleas, but it doesn't look like an infestation. Well, what does it look like? It looks like a motel. A motel? Ah, here we are. Club Mutt, my new home. Boy, what a classy place. Uh, welcome to Club Mutt, sir. How many in your party? Uh, just me and my wife, Mel. It's uh, just me. I don't need her anymore. Um, I have a lovely single. It's on the golf course, just the dog leg to the right. Follow me, please. Boy, this place smells like an old dog, too. How could there be a motel on my back? Where would they find tiny bars of soap that small? I have fleas living on my back. That means I've got condo. What am I going to do? You're going to take a bath. Oh, don't be silly. Mother Goose wants me to do that, and I have no intention of... Well, on my mark, set, go! It won't work, Grimmy. I'm going to find a way to give you a bath. Who needs her? I have a nice room. Everything is sanitized for my protection. Ah, oh, forget about Marge. And a cute little face. And those six great legs. The dynamite bar that... No! I have to get her off in my mind. I'll go work on my tan. Now, all right, Grimmy, if you won't take a bath, 
Maybe I can get you to do something you'd like to do. What? And chase cars. Chase cars? All right! Is this woman a saint or what? Ah, this looks like a great day to sit out. All right, Grimmy. I'm going to drive and you chase my car. I don't believe it. Just when I think I have this woman figured out, she does something great like this. Come on, Grimmy. Chase my car. <laughs> This is what heaven must be like. Ah, this is the life. I don't miss her. I do not miss her. Hey, come on, Grimmy. about a storm today? Yeah, I hope Mudge is okay. Please don't give up, Grimmy! <coughs> don't, 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 don't worry. Neither rain nor snow nor soap nor hot wax will stay. Hey, where are we? In the spin cycle? Boy! Talk about acid rain. I'd better get home and see if Mudge is okay. Don't worry, Mudge. Your Eldo baby's coming. Eldo? Where are you? Eldo? <laughs> My little baby is all clean. I told you my little baby needed a bath. Your little baby needs a lifeguard. Baby, you're okay. No, oh, I was worried about you, Aldo. Well, were you worried about me? Me? Worried about you? Ah, that's a laugh. I couldn't care less. Why, why, after the things you said, after, uh, after, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I missed you. I missed you too, Aldo. Well, you say I never take you any place. How's about we stay here for a while? Oh, Aldo, you're wonderful. Hey, now, I'll dust you with flea powder. Hey, this I don't mind. Great view from this room, huh? Yeah, it's too bad it isn't winter. Snow is so romantic. Aldo, look, it's snowing. So it is, my precious parasite. Gee, I'm gonna miss them. They must hate that flea powder stuff. Aldo, this is just like our honeymoon on that Siberian husky. Baby, you're the greatest. <laughs> Play Barbie doll has two outfits that snap on. Ken doll not included. <laughs> Watch me trick Fred out of his fruity pebbles. Uh, hey Fred, but you can't gobble up all the fruit in Super Fruity Zone. <laughs> oh yeah? Let me at that game. And let me at those delicious fruity pebbles. Look, I got the orange. I got the cherry. Oh, I got the same fruity flavors. Orange, cherry, grape, lemon, and lime. I got them all. Yappa, yappa. Barney, my pebbles! <laughs> See you later, alligator! Pumps fruity and cocoa pebble cereal, part of his capricious breakfast.
My bird. He will come down. Ah! I'll get him. Think ah! this will work, Ronald? Maybe. Maybe Whoa. not. <laughs> it's time for a little magic. Wow. What's your bird's name? Howard. Hop in, Howie. My name is Howard. Well, silly me. You did it. Ah! Thanks, Ronnie. My name is Ronald. Wow, silly me. <laughs> <laughs> Next, get ready for a serious chow down with me. Garfield? America's favorite fat cat. All new Garfield next on CBS Kid TV. Today, turtle power lives. Cowabunga! They're slamming. Party on, dude. They're jamming. The all new turtles today on CBS Kid TV. This is CBS. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. We're, we're ready, ready to, to party. Oh, we're ready to party. We're ready. Yeah. I hope you bring lots of spaghetti. I'm scared. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Come on in, it's time to party with Garfield and friends. Fiesta, romance, siesta, samba, la bamba, ay caramba, disguises, disguises, surprises, surprises, and pies of, and pies of all sizes. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Come on in, it's time to party with Garfield and friends. Come on in, it's time to party with Garfield and friends. Garfield and friends. After seven seasons, we've pretty much said everything you can say in this spot. Garfield and friends will be back after these messages. The doll with genuine rollerblade inline skates, only from Mattel. Batteries not included. Welcome to the factory where they make Cocoa Puffs. I bet you all go goo goo for this chocolatey tasting stuff. You're on, Sunny. We'll start here, where each puff is packed with its great chocolatey taste. A taste that makes Cocoa Puffs a delicious part of this complete breakfast. A taste so chocolatey, kids can't help going goo goo. Now, on the back of marked boxes of Cocoa Puffs, one free fold-out factory. Load it up and let the good times roll. Just released on video cassette, you'll love Bernard and Bianca in an all-new adventure. Walt Disney's The Rescuers. When a girl named Penny needs lots of help and time is running out... Do they want us now? It's time to call The Rescuers. And here we go! They're sending in the Air Force, the Navy, the Marines. Everyone's pitching in. On land, on sea, and in the air. <laughs> it's a brand new Disney adventure on video. The Rescuers, rated G. Now back to Garfield. <laughs>
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will return to these messages. Hurry, let's go! Meet 2XL. He asks you questions. True or false? There are now living on your body over 200 tiny creatures. That's true. True is right. 2XL is full of fun questions and answers about animals, sports, monsters, even jokes. <laughs> what do you call two banana peels? A pair of slippers. <laughs> Who's the talking robot with a mind of its own? 2XL. Batteries not included. Additional tape sold separately from Tiger. Okay, great reasons for scarfing Captain Crunch cereal. Our favorite celebrity spokesperson is on the red box. No unnecessary letters, Cap Pen. Convenient bite-sized morsels. Yeah, yeah. And it's a fleshy bar of a balanced breakfast. breakfast. And excellent toys, huh? Neat cartoon book. Yeah, and it's magic. Now you see it, now you don't. Hey, you got the last Captain Crunch toy. That's fine. Okay, but it's just blank pages. Aw, oh, never mind. <laughs> One in specially marked boxes of Captain Crunch cereal. about that, Dr. Emmett L. Brown here. It is my hope to chronicle through audiovisual means my research involving air pressure and water pressure. Why is pressure so important, you ask? Because it is a basic scientific principle. It wasn't too long ago that even the simplest scientific principles were seen as magic, not science. Why, in Salem, Massachusetts, in the 1600s, many innocent people were accused of practicing black magic. If I had been carrying on these sorts of experiments back then, I might have been accused of being a witch and then burned at the stake. <laughs> That's not how I want to end up. Well done. But during the Salem witch trials, anything could happen. Marnie and I found that out the hard way. It all started when Marty was having a bad day at school. A C minus on my music appreciation test. Can you believe that, Liz? And you even did an extra credit report on the social significance of the bone daddies. <laughs> yes! No! What's Jennifer doing with that dim bulb kelp? I hear they've got a date this Saturday. That muscle-bound moron? Of course, this means you're free to take me out. <coughs> Should I consider that a yes? Then maybe afterwards you can watch me lift my car. Hey, lay off her, Kelper. I'll, I'll, I'll cut you down to size. Whose size, McFly? Yours or a normal person's? <laughs> I'll see you Saturday, Jennifer. Norton, Seamus, McFly? Jen, I can't believe you'd sneak out behind my back. Just listen a minute. No excuses. I don't ever want you to see that jock again. This isn't fair. You found me guilty without even hearing my side of the story. Okay, fine. <laughs> Tell me your side of the story, and then I'll find you guilty. Morty, dry up. Whoa! Very mature, Jennifer. Hold it! Hold it! I inadvertently neglected to mention what was transpiring with the Brown family unit. Meanwhile, about 3,000 years earlier... Hey, Dad, what are those guys get so mad about? Well, I speculate the ancient Egyptians don't have much of a sense of humor, especially with their national monuments. Where did you get that much blasto plaster anyway? There's the train! Hurry, Emmett! Ready for departure, Jules. Destination, Hill Valley! Prepare for temporal displacement! Stop the flux capacitor! Exciting, isn't it? Now I get back to Marty. First old buzzer Badcock gives me a C minus in music appreciation, which brings my average to a C minus. <coughs> then Jennifer makes a date with some pituitary case. Hi, Julie. Hi, Marty. Oh, maybe Doc can give me some advice before things get any worse. Hey, 
I just had a bath last month. Oh, you Doc and the gang aren't back yet? Good thing we skipped the flea dip. <laughs> Greetings from Massachusetts. Hey, it's one of Doc's scratch and listen postcards. Party, locomotive crash landed at Salem. Bring DeLorean and spare flux capacitor to September 23rd, 1692 at once. Okay, Einie, we'll take off right after I comb my hair. I said at once. September 23rd, 1692. According to this map, there should be a large body of water right about... California cool. California roller baby. You've got the hardest place yet. Neon pink. Change your look, change your outfit. Who's style? Hair cool as it gets. Super hair. See your glide by your side now. At the roller rink with you. You'll see her whirling and twirling. A dance step or two. She's sparkle. California roller baby. Total California cool. California roller baby has two great looks. Cool shades and earrings are for you. Batteries not included. I am hungry. So hunga hunga hungry. A rapping rhino? Oh, my name is DJ Rhino. I've been looking left and right for a cereal that will bore me, but there isn't one in sight. Well, don't use your eyes. Just follow your nose to a fruit flavor surprise. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal. Papa Fruit Loops? Orange. Lemon. Cherry and lime. Part of a complete breakfast. That really makes them fine. I've got a colorful breakfast. Another Fruit Loop fan. And I got great taste. Like me to can Sam. Yo, Sam. Totally fresh. <laughs> Life is more important than material things. You don't need all the gold and the diamond rings. Yeah, you make a lot of money and you make it fast. You get busted free. You're going straight to a jail cell, man. It's going on. Police are getting serious. I don't mean to diss, but you gotta get out of this. Straight up, straight up, man. It's a known fact. It ain't enough money that can get your life back. Straight up, straight up, free. Straight up, straight up, free. Straight up, straight up, free. Straight up, straight up. Free. Police. Yo, little brother, what's up with these drugs? You wanna make a lot of money and be a thug? You want these fancy cars to flaunt your money? But then you go to jail like all the other dudes. Wait up, it ain't cool, you know what they say. So you got a 9 millimeter in your face. It's a game you can't win, so don't try to play. Let's spread the word from New York to L.A. We're here to tell you that drugs are for something. Straight up! Police! Straight up! Straight up! Straight up! Straight up! Police! like rats. The air is getting thin. I, I, I can't breathe, I tell you. We're doomed! <laughs> Thanks, Aini. Uh, not that I was ever really worried, but I, I do feel much safer on dry land. <laughs> At least I did! I don't break! This thing is driving itself! Welcome to Salem, Massachusetts! 
I had you on auto remote. How was the ride? Great. If you want to see what I had for lunch. Oh, thanks for bringing the spare capacitor. AAA doesn't cover this. Okay, first I need to wire in the new flux, adjust the tolerances. Oh, yes, can't forget to recalibrate the surge protector. I figure the whole process will take approximately, this is just an estimate, 27.35 hours. Not including the 46.82 minutes travel time to our house in town, where you can freshen up. Doc, what's everybody staring at? I mean, I know I'm dressed like a geek, but... Marty, in this society, everyone dresses like a geek. The Puritans are suspicious of strangers, that's all. But once they get to know you... They treat you even worse. What's he in for? He assaulted my ears with vile speech when I ran over his hog. Boy, that's strict. The Puritans just have very high standards of behavior, that's all. What's she wearing that S for? She was caught stealing at the general store. That guy made a glutton of himself at the town social. And what about that one? He fell asleep in church. Yeah, brothers and sisters, witches are plentiful in the land. You shall know them by their speaking of strange tongues and by their convulsive fits. With instruments of Hades do they make Satan's music and with dogs and other dumb beasts do they converse. Hey, don't forget, they use broomsticks too. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, did you hear that? They actually believe in witches. Inform me of something of which I'm not already cognizant. After all, we've been here a month. A month? Animalizing the damaged flux capacitor and constructing a time-traveling mail truck took a bit of doing. Goodman Brown? Yes, Goodman Tannen. Oh, not another biffster. Once again, you have neglected to retrieve and dispose of my refuse barrels. My apologies. I'll collect them now, with the help of Martin, my, uh, nephew. Doc, you're a garbage man? A fascinating way to explore the Puritan culture. In addition, I've started a recycling program. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> By heavens above, I'll get ye for this wretched and despicable stranger! Well, at least he didn't call me a butthead. Where's your father? We're gonna be late for the town social. I hope there's something fun to do this time. Last week, all we did was play Stack the Hymnals. And thanks to simple geometric logic, I won. Golden Vincent Fluid, produced by members of the genus Apis Mellifera, I'm home! Oh, Emmett. I love it when you call me honey. Hi, Marty. Welcome to the 17th century, Martin. The Puritan work ethic is fascinating to contemplate. Yeah, a real blast. Hey, Marty, are you coming to the party tonight? What party? A weekly ritualized occasion amongst Puritans. Personally, I have to repair the locomotive, but you all attend and have fun. You call this fun? Who died? Now, Marty, people around here just let their fun on the quiet side. Maybe I'll go see what Jules and Vern are up to. I know. Let us play seen and not heard. How do you play it? We see who can stand still and be quiet the longest. With my knowledge of the laws of inertia, I'm a shoo-in. I'd rather stack books. Drag? Hello, stranger. My name is Mercy. Oh, baby, have mercy. Ow! Notice the stranger. I've not seen anyone jump about in such fits since Goody Magoo. And you know what we did to her. Into kit. Are you all right? Oh, now that you're here, I'm so fine. I I just call me Marty. Would you care to take a stroll in the moonlight, Marty? Oh, <laughs> get out of town. Are you kidding? You bet. Is that a yes or a no? And let me warn you, I don't take kindly to men who say no. Oh, it's a... What's the matter? Oh, that big goon over there is mad at me. He's such a chump. Oh, that's no chump. That's my father. <laughs> In that case, my answer is no. I, I better uh, go walk my dog. Bye. Walk out on me, wilt thou? What did that young stranger want with you, daughter? He... he made improper advances toward me, father. What? Not only that, but he spoke in strange tongues and is subject to fits. I knew there was something odd about that boy. <sighs> Heine. This just hasn't been my day, girl-wise. Yeah, I know that one. 
Timely request, considering I've got a right to play the blues. Why, tis like the wailing of lost souls in Hades itself! Is she a witch? <laughs> Oh, hi, big guy. How'd you like it? Throw him in the stockade! Let's not get carried away, okay, okay. I could use some lessons. Yeah, he's a witch. Oh, my witch, 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 Kids, catch this! Soft stuff, potato head. Soft stuff, silly stuff, sticky stuff, huggy stuff. It's hard to put down soft stuff, potato head. Soft stuff, potato head is so soft and squishy. So many silly pieces, you can stick them anywhere. And when you're finished playing, you stick them under there. Hey, soft stuff, silly stuff, sticky stuff, huggy stuff. It's hard to put down soft stuff, potato head. Soft stuff, potato head comes with everything here. Where'd you get the corn pops, Kev? <laughs> Kevin, the pops. <laughs> Great, I'm dying for Kellogg's corn pops and diaper head just sits there. Get a grip. Okay, I'll find them myself. I'll never find them. Oh, like sweet popcorn, you always want more. But I have to babysit the alien child who can't talk and tell me where the pops are at. Oh! <laughs> oh, what an angel. Kellogg's corn pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. Hershey's Fifth Avenue. It'll make you go. Psst, Marty! Doc? I have come to liberate you from your current state of incarceration. Oh, shoot, I thought you were gonna bust me out of here. The Salem witch trials were infamous for railroading innocent people. If you're found guilty, things could get very messy. Doc, I'm not a witch. What can they possibly say about me? You'll uh, find out at tomorrow's trial. The nephew Martin, a poor and miserable object, has been known to carry himself in an unwanted manner and burst forth into sudden shrieks and fits. With his black magic, this scoundrel levitated a barrel of refuse, dumped its contents on my head, then bewitched my horse. He communicates with beasts of the field with a musical satanic mouthbox. I object! It's called the harmonica, lady. The nephew Martin made brazen overtures and attempted to enchant me by speaking in a strange and evil tongue and doing the devil's dance. Hey, that was one of James Brown's best moves. Seeing that I was immune to his evil schemes, he began having discourse with his dog. Discourse? I was just talking with him. Isn't that right, Einstein? <laughs> discourse means talking? Oh, I, I didn't know that. That dog is his familiar. He sang the Book of Hades, I tell you. He's a witch. <laughs> Look who's talking. This intruder is an evil element in our community. We must put an end to his demonic behavior at once! We find a nephew Martin guilty in all counts of witchery. But you found me guilty without hearing my side of the story. So what? Whoa, where have I heard that before? Nephew Martin, you're hereby sentenced to the final test. 
Just as long as there's no math involved. Oh no, no math. We merely drop you in the bay. If you float, you're indeed a witch and must be burnt at the stake. However, if you sink, I'm dead. That's your problem, fatty face. Not the water test! I was hoping to have the locomotive repaired before the trial was over. Final adjustments are complete, Father. What would Thomas Alva Edison say in a predicament such as this? How about, give me some large milk cans, a bellows, and, and a, a length, length of rubber tubing! You people are making a serious mistake. Don't you see how you've all been caught up in the fervor of rumors and vicious gossip? He may survive the water test. Of course, if he does... You're planning a weenie roast and I'm the guest weenie! Well, Marty, I suppose they won't be happy until they do their little test. Come along, Vern. Clara! Vern! Heine! Prepare to reveal your true self, nephew Martin, if that is your real name. Yeah, the lad was innocent. I... I only wanted to teach him a lesson for spurning my affections. Friends, we must see that a travesty such as this never happens again. you got so mad about a little tutoring session. Believe me, I know now that I should have given you a chance to explain. Well, you're forgiven. Marty, you know I would never go out behind your back. What kind of a witch do you think I am? Introducing the Kraft Cheese and Macaroni Treasure Chest. It has a life all of its own. -y. That's for kids and kids alone. -y. Cause it's totally awesome, Looney. And that ain't no baloney. But what about salami? It's the Kraft Cheese and Macaroni Treasure Chest. There's T-shirts, watches, and more. You can send inclusive purchase plus postage and handling. Details on boxes. So rather roller coaster only. To the treasure chest for Kraft Cheese and Macaroni. Adjusting exposure. Dr. Eminem Brown again. How about that Salem water test? That thing is all wet. Now, I have a little water test of my own to show you. Since we're in a real pressure situation, perhaps this might help. Access video encyclopedia section W for water pressure. Section W. Entry. Water pressure. The deeper you go underwater, the stronger the water pressure. You probably felt it on your ears when you dive into the deep end of a swimming pool. That's because the deeper you are, the more water there is squeezing all around you. Watch, we'll prove it. 
This plexiglass pipe is entirely filled with water. Here we have two balloons that are inflated to the same size. One is located near the bottom. The other is placed near the top, about five inches from the surface. Both are fitted with valves so that their air may be released into the column of water. Watch how water pressure affects the flow of air from the balloons. The top balloon deflates easily because there is relatively little water pressure acting against it. Now observe the bottom balloon. Here the water is forced into the balloon because the pressure at that depth is far greater than the force of the outgoing air. Here's another example. One that can be recreated in the average dwelling. All you need is an empty soda bottle and some water. Put three evenly spaced holes in the side of the bottle and cover them with tape. After filling the bottle with water, quickly remove the tape and watch the streams that shoot out. The water merely trickles out of the top hole. As we move downward, the pressure increases and so does the force of the spray. Impressed? Well, observe this! Water pressure! Post trip to experiment! You may want to conduct your water pressure demonstration outside! See you in the future! might just blow you over. Part of this complete breakfast. A smacks. A bigger. Golden sweets, honey treats. Lunch and makes it fun to eat. That's why we all love our honey gold. See that shake? Here is one. See those get go much, much, much. We all love the taste of honey gold. Well, it should come as no surprise. Kids up every shape and size. Love what honey gold provides. That shape and honey taste they pride. Honey, 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 honey. Open wide. Come inside. Yeah. Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Did you say him? Where's Wally? Letters, cat pen, convenient bite sized morsels, yeah, yeah. and it's a crunchy bar of a balanced breakfast. breakfast. And excellent toys, huh? Neat cartoon book. Yeah, and it's magic. Now you see it, now you don't. Hey, you got the last Cat and Crunch toy. That's fine. Okay, but it's just blank pages. Aw, oh, never mind. <laughs> One of specially marked boxes of Cat and Crunch cereal. Ah, good morning. As we speak, my dad is preparing a scrumptious Eggo waffle. The time has arrived for the Eggo stealth suit. Using state-of-the-art technology, I can move through the house undetected to make sure that warm, crisp Eggo waffle is mine. Hi, Dad. Richard? Hey, Lego, my Eggo! Success! Eggo waffles from Kellogg's, part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm. Richard? Oops. Guess I blew my cover. Uh, 
Comedy. Hi there, Wally Thrill Seekers. As you watch this overly exciting adventure, keep your peepers poised for a bony cow, a frog on a pogo stick, and a monkey wearing polka dot pajamas. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Handsome. Handsome who? Handsome candy through the door, and I'll tell you more. Ooh, oh, you're okay. Wizard Whitebeard. That's funny. Ah, uh, you ain't heard nothing yet, you know? I've got a million of them right here in this ancient riddle book. <laughs> hey, why did the chicken cross the road? Why do firemen wear red suspenders? Who? And what would happen if everyone in the country bought a pink car? Whitebeard, those are the oldest riddles in the world. True, true. And they'll all help you on your adventure. Great! Where are we going this time? Oh, I'll tell you, they're having trouble in Aztec land, you know? I want you to go there and lend them a hand. Great! So long, Whitebeard! Come on, Wolf! Let's get going! of doomed villagers. Stand back or you'll be blown away. A tornado! Great! Hmm, not bad. I've been here less than a minute and already there's chaos. Never yeah! since the evil bad guy Guanamuk stole our life-giving stone calendar, We've had disaster after disaster. That's terrible. Wonder what we can do to help him, Wolf. And we just got word a typhoon is headed our way. He said typhoon, not tycoon, buddy. Too bad. But at least your cow still looks healthy. Depends on how you look at it, Sonny. All this because this Guanamuk guy stole your calendar? Yes, but our luck will change as soon as our courageous hero arrives. Worry no more, luckless peasantry, for I, the invincible Phantom Avenger, will avenge your phantoms. Yes, my little friend. I will track down the treacherous Guanamuk and return your precious calendar. Glad to meet you, Mr. Avenger. Can my dog Woof and I come along? Mm, certainly. I could use a sidekick. Goodbye, little people. The Avenger will bring back your calendar. And you will be avenged. Time to meet Guanamuk, the most rotten, cruel, and often naughty villain listed in Who's Who of Aztec Bad Guys. However, in his defense, I will say he's a swell dancer. <laughs> the power to rule the entire Aztec Empire is mine. If only I could decipher the meaning of this calendar. Why, certainly you will. Oh, Master, you're such a genuine genius. Oh, well. That genius doesn't do Guanamuk justice. He is a true smart guy. Pipe down. With all your bickering, we'll never reach the Lost Pyramid. Whoa, tell me again what we're gonna do when we get there. <laughs> this year, you give me strength. Now listen, the pyramid was lost for countless ages, but I discovered it last Tuesday. The calendar holds the key to the secret entrance. Ooh, ooh, tell me again what's inside. I forgot. <laughs> give me a break. Inside is power beyond belief. Listen, what are they saying? You illiterates, they're saying uh, the invincible phantom of Avenger has vowed to recover the calendar. I'm not afraid of that nitwit. Nothing can stop me. Paddle faster. <laughs> 
A short time later, our heroes found themselves close enough to Guanamuc to know he'd eaten garlic burritos the night before. Yuck. There's your calendar. Ah, uh, just waiting for a dashing recovery by the Phantom Avenger. This is putting me on the edge of my seat. It looks like he's going to sneak up and... Um, <clears throat> the Avenger never sneaks. The brave and bold attack is the only way. <laughs> Come on, Wolf. Let's see if we can settle things peacefully. Yes, since you explained everything with such compassion, Senor Wally, what else can I say but, uh... Tough cookies. Well, I'm off. Uh, too bad you can't join me. But it appears uh, you're all tied up. <laughs> <laughs> all tied up. I hereby reclaim what rightfully belongs to my people. Going, you fools! Wolf, you know what to do. Good boy, my slippers and newspaper. Now I better see what I can do about getting free. Come on, Wolf, we gotta find Mr. Avenger. Best, we can't let him get away. I have triumphed again! Oops! Hey, great idea! Now it's light enough so we can each carry half back to the village. Oh yes, that's the beauty of my brilliant plan. Looks like they're stuck with nowhere to go! Hmm. Why is that strange-looking chicken crossing the road? Whitebeard's riddle, Woof! Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side! That bridge is a shortcut to the other side! Please, spare us the chicken jokes! Hmm, looks like it could collapse any minute! Exciting, huh, Woof? I'll lead the way! chance to build up my biceps. Oh, what a perilous predicament! Will Wally go to the other side like the chicken, or will he go splat? In case you don't realize it, this is exciting! This is exciting! These ancient markings on the calendar say there's a powerful secret hidden in a pyramid at the far end of the valley of doom dee doom doom Isn't that fascinating, Wolf? Hey, if that bridge collapses, the calendar will break into a jillion pieces. Oh, but you can paste it back together. You can do anything. Hey, look who's worming his way into the scene. Quiet, Big Mouth. You're breaking my concentration. This looks like bad news for Wally. If we lighten the load, chances are we won't plunge to the bottom and be dashed against the rocks. Uh, leave it to PA. That's short for Phantom Avenger. is better than none. It'll still be useful when we reach the pyramid. Oh. Time out! Substituting for lackey number two is lackey number three. I'm the substitute lackey. I think you're incredible and fabulous. 
Ah, not me. I'm a lackey like you. You're supposed to worship him. We got work to do. Firemen. Firemen. Whitebeard's riddle. Why do firemen wear red suspenders? Oh, I know, I know. To keep their pants from falling down? No. I mean, yes. I mean, suspenders will stop us from falling down. <laughs> but what are they going to do with suspenders? Oh, the suspense is killing me. And they're almost the right length. I'm going to the little narrator's room. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Hurry, my underlings. To secure the other half of the calendar, we will pursue Guanamuk to the end of the world. Huh? Swipe the pyramid's power. I'll use the power to steal you know what. Hello there. My, what a handsome leader. What a profile. Ever thought of getting into the motion pictures? Oh, uh, please. You think he'd fall for that? He's no fool. Welcome, my son. Come join my little band. I said my little band. Like they say, two fools are dumber than one. The way I see it, with my brains and your <laughs> total disregard for decency, we can stick it to the Phantom Avenger. I'm not worried about him. But his new sidekick knows how to translate the calendar. Hmm. Then we must find a way to trap them. <laughs> Leave it to me. Are you sure you don't want me to help you carry that? Not necessary, for I am blessed with the strength of ten goats, three sheep, and a chicken. Zones! I have discovered the path to the Lost Pyramid. Lost Pyramid? This way. <laughs> I am great. I found it. Well, something's fishy about that sign. Such a splendid idea! Yeah, you're truly a creative wonder. Oh, just keep putting those signs up and shut your blooming cake holes. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's masterful too. Aha! Uh -huh. This way. Row, <laughs> row. <laughs> What is this? Quicksand? <laughs> it can't stop the Avenger. I will merely leap out of it. Hasta la vista, Quicksand. <laughs> My plan is, um, uh, to make camp here for the night. I'd say the Phantom Avenger's hopes are sinking fast. He needs the help of our wandering Wally. Where is Wally? Where are you guys? It's time to go. Rubble's are fast. Oh my. <laughs> hey, Rubble, jump here. Okay. I just love carpools. And the race is on. It's Rubble's World. It's Hot Wheels Mini Streaks. You can get one in McDonald's new Happy Meal. You can't jump that wow. Or wow. get a Barbie Happy Meal. Look at Barbie Twirl. One mini streaks racer or Barbie miniature with each Happy Meal you buy. Battling evil with his mighty crossbow, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. We're under attack! The evil sheriff of Nottingham stole our weapon. Did I hear my name? It's Robin Hood and Will Scott. Dark warrior, fire the bullet bomber. Look out! We still got another weapon, Sheriff. Fire the net launcher. Ah! The forest is safe again. For now. 
Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Figures and accessories each sold separately. Kids' hands everywhere are acting as though they have a mind of their own. All fingers point to Mini Chips Ahoy cookies. Mini Chips Ahoy are so delicious, so crunchy, these kids' hands are out of control. Did you find Wally? Avengers stuck in quicksand? No need to panic, Woof. Here comes a strong but extremely gullible Central American goofy bird. Fortunately, its favorite food is the rare juicy bologna worm. setback for the Phantom Avenger. <laughs> hey! Beds! How nice! But in the middle of the valley of doom dee doom doom who put them here? <laughs> Just looking out for my welfare. My unfailing intuition tells me we're near the Lost Pyramid. Uh, Next right, Lost Pyramid. What a mess! Looks like a real fixer-upper. A real Aztec Pyramid. You know, Woof, some of them are supposed to be cursed. <laughs> well, curse or no curse, the Phantom Avenger will not stop until he has both halves of the calendar. Here, take it, with my compliments. Oh, so you surrender, hmm? Obviously realizing you are no match. You alone, Senor Wally, can decipher this writing on the calendar and unseal the pyramid. But I think we should just get the calendar back to the village. I had a feeling that would be your response. Therefore, I have prepared a little torture. Fools! Scrape the blackboard with your fingernails. Oh, stop. I can't stand it. Do what he wants, please. Well, since you put it that way, I'll take a quick look. What a great design. All those carnations. Hey, Whitebeard's Riddle. What would happen if everyone in the country bought a pink car? Oh, oh, I get it. We would have a pink car. Carnation! <laughs> Precisely! That's where the calendar fits! Hmm, what do these numbers mean? Hey, the calendar is like a combination lock. Seven to the left, nine to the right, swing your partners through the night! Now, Alamand left and Alamand right, bow to your partner and get out of sight! <laughs> Get the calendar. We may need it. Hey! Now, if you'll excuse us... Where do those cowards go? Aha! Uh -huh. This must open a secret door. Beware of the Funicello curse. Funicello? What's a Funicello? That's Aztec for Annette. Annette! 
You know what that means? The dreaded Frankie can't be far behind! Have no fear, Mr. Narrator, for I will have a brilliant idea any moment now. At last, after years of suffering and sacrifice through torturous cartoon jungles, I finally realized my goal. It's the legendary golden headdress. There's an inscription. I'll bet it says one size fits all. Only he who is good of heart may wear the golden headdress. I crown myself with the headdress, and all power is mine. with all his mighty strength, shall carry the calendar back to the village. We give thanks and kudos to the Phantom Avenger, for now our village is back as it was. A dump. But our dump. Ah, oh, woof. Isn't it nice to have a happy ending? <laughs> And once again, I have saved the day, for I am the Phantom Avenger! Oh. Oh. You know, there's one thing about that Phantom Avenger. At least we always know when he's around, Senior Wally. There's Wally. Oh, and by the way, let me tell you a riddle. What's green and goes click, click, click? A ballpoint pickle. A <laughs> ballpoint pickle. Get it because it's clicked. And... See you next time, wonderful Wally Watchers. A <laughs> ballpoint pickle. <laughs>
see who knows all the new fruit shapes and tricks. A fruity flavored part of this complete breakfast. Um, I know, I know. Whoever knows the new shapes can win this box of tricks. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. Shapes of orange slices, green limes, raspberry red clusters, lemony curls, and great for the fun juice. Oh, silly rabbit. New tricks with fruit shapes are for kids. I know, I know. And now you can get fruity Skittles bite-sized candies in Mark Boxes of Tricks. Hey, Joey, I got some stuff you just gotta try. What is it? Pot. You know, marijuana. Well, I don't know. What are you, chicken? I'm not chicken. You're a turkey. He's right. Drug dealers are dorks. Don't even talk to them. Micro machines. They're always on my mind. Cause they're one of a kind. Oh, yeah. Need an adventure? Here's the best kind. Micro Machines Highway Patrol Adventures. You can roll them out, drive them away. They're all chrome and shiny with gleaming metal highlights. They're Micro Machines Chromers, your dream cars. These guys were born to ride and pop wheelies on their Micro Machines motorcycles. Now you can get a free Micro Machines vehicle inside Micro Machines bonus packs. Micro Machines Classy Chromers, Super Bikes, and Adventure Vehicle Packs, each sold separately from the Louvre. comes with everything you see here. Refills and accessory sets sold separately. Wowzers! I haven't seen this much snow since that episode in the Arctic. Uh, Uncle Gadget! He can't hear me with those earmuffs on. <laughs> School? I'll give you a ride to school when I finish the driveway. It's Saturday. I wonder why Penny wants to go to school on a Saturday. All finished. Uncle Gadget, that's the top secret gadget phone. Sure, a cheese sandwich would be fine. The top 
top secret gadget phone? Is that you, Chief? You're where? I'll be right there. Uh, you better start lunch without me, Penny. It's okay. We'll wait. Chief? Chief! Oh. Aha! There you are. Here's your assignment, Gadget. World's most valuable coin collection. Part of First Penny Estate. To be auctioned off for charity tomorrow. Suspect Mad will attempt to steal it. You must stop them. This message will self-destruct. You know me, Chief. I'll do anything for charity. Yo! No time for lunch, Penny. Ooh. I'm off to guard the first Penny coin collection. He's right, Brain. There's no time for lunch. Ooh. The first Penny coin collection is worth millions. If Dr. Claus steals it, he'll use the money to start a major crime wave. You follow Uncle Gadget, Brain. I'll get my computer book and meet you at the first Penny Mansion. Everything is going according to plan, Dr. Claw. Once my little friends replace the coin collection with fakes, I'll pose as the auctioneer and auction them off. We'll have the real coins and the money. Excellent. Keep me informed. I'll be there to pick up the coins myself. You'd think with all his money, old Mr. First Penny could have spent a few dollars on maintenance. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. I'm Inspector Gadget. I've been assigned to guard some coins. I'll have a quick look around to check security. Hmm. Who are these suspicious-looking characters? They are the big bidders for tomorrow's auction. I'm the auctioneer. My name is Professor... Sir Venom. I'll make a note of that. Ooh. Ooh. I knew it. A mad agent. You there. Halt! You're under arrest! Stand where you are! Hold it right there. Aha! You must be part of the security force. I am the security force, Sonny. Well, I'm Inspector Gadget. I've been assigned to help guard the priceless coin collection. I've been guarding this coin collection for 73 years, and I don't need no fancy city detective to help me. Now get... <laughs> I'm sorry that mad agent got away. I would have caught him, but that old guard got in my way. We can talk about it after you're settled. <laughs> hmm. An intercom. Hello? Is this the kitchen? Could you please send up a cheese sandwich? I wish I hadn't skipped lunch. I really could use a bite. No wonder First Penny was rich. He never spent a cent to fix anything. could get hurt around here. This whole house is a disaster area. Even the radiators rattle. Maybe I can fix it. Go, go, Gadget Mallet. There, 
much better. I wonder what's taking my lunch so long. Hmm. Go, go, gadget skates! You make sure nothing happens to Uncle Gadget. So there's my cheese sandwich. What are you doing? Ah. Huh? All right, you joker, where's my lunch? I'll bet that guard put him up to this. Professor Venom. Yes, Dr. Clark. You have failed. Gadget is still alive. Don't worry, Dr. Claw. I have another plan. I won't miss this time. This should give me a good view of the coin room. Now, let's see. Who are those guys? Hold it right there. Who are you? Flinkle Floppin' and Flinkle Floppin'. We're the appraisers. Uh, you must be Inspector Gadget. That's right, I'm here to guard the coins. The coins in this case are worth over 16 million dollars. Wowzers. This one coin is worth almost four billion dollars. Whoops. Get me some rope, boys! Inspector Gadget, I heard strange noises coming from your room. Oh? It must be my first suspect. Here, put this in a safe place. Concerned city slicker? Let's see if the intruder left any clues. Oh. in the cabbage patch. Tinkle, tinkle, little player, sitting on your potty chair. You wore diapers long ago. You're a big girl now, and so the Cabbage Patch Kids potty chair makes real sound. Tinkle, tinkle, now you're done. The potty chair is so much fun. Xavier Roberts Cabbage Patch Kids and potty chair each sold separately. Batteries not included. Get ready. Get it boring. The Muppets are coming to theaters in the family movie event of the year. Be serious. All your friends will be dropping in. There's Kermit the Frog. Merry Christmas, everyone. Miss Piggy. Whatever. Gonzo and Rizzo. Hey, 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 like the lamp, not the rap. Everyone's got the holiday spirit. It's creepy and kind of woohoo. Walt Disney Pictures presents from Jim Henson Productions, The Muppet Christmas Carol, rated G. Starts Friday, December 11th at a theater near you.
It's the Magic Tea Party, and it's full of colorful surprises. Pour clear water from the teapot and... Looks like pink tea! Dip the spreading knife in water and... Looks like jam for crackers. Lovely party. Magic tea party. <gasps> the Magic Tea Party comes with everything here. Do you believe in magic? What you building, Ronald? It's a magic time machine. How does it work? Stand back. I'll show you. It's about four o'clock. Cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I love my brother. In fact, I suggested that we take him to McDonald's for a Happy Meal and a mini Tonka truck with parts that move. Little brothers love trucks. And I can get a mini Cabbage Patch Kid. One toy with every Happy Meal you buy. are for real. Now to check on the coins. Brain? <laughs> Uncle Gadget's been mesmerized. <sighs> I'll be right there. to be doing here. We'd better find Uncle Gadget. The coin room, come on! Where am I? Wowzers! He's at it again! Did I get him? Get who? What's happening? Check the coins! I heard somebody moving around in here. Nobody move! You're all under arrest! Gadget. Don't worry, Inspector Gadget is here. Aha! A tunnel through the ceiling. Obviously, we're dealing with professionals here. Inspector, there's been a mistake. All the coins are still here. I scared them off. But I'm the one who will catch them. Go, go, Gadget Springs. <laughs> Inspector Gadget is on the trail. Look, the coins in the first case were all authentic. Why don't you just skip the other two? We must appraise each coin, or else you can't auction them tomorrow. Uh, we must know what they are worth to know where to start the bidding. Okay, but make it snappy. There's something funny going on here, Brain. I'd better double check. Holy cow! The coins in the first case are fakes. Someone has switched the real coins with phony ones. Got a hunch, Brain, but I'll have to get in to see those coins. Our plan is working, Dr. Claw. I've already switched the first coin case. Yes, Professor, but there is something you've forgotten. Yes, Dr. Claw? Get Gadget! Well, my friends, we haven't been very successful, have we? I should have let you do it in the first place, my pet. <laughs> Not me, Gadget. At least your end will be quick, Gadget. That's the last one. 
I make the total $37 million. Whee! Oh, that'll sure take care of a lot of orphans. Guard it well. We'll see you at the auction. $37 million. Wow. <sighs> Now's my chance, Brain. I'm going to plant a homing device on one of the other coins. If it goes anywhere, we'll know it. Identify yourself or I'll shoot. And I won't miss this time. make real animal sounds. Like a dog, a monkey, a horse, and a frog. You can bounce them around and hear the fun. I like to cheat. Silly friends. Silly friends. Oh. Silly friends. My silly friends. Silly friends. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. From Tiger. Presenting the 1992 Lego Technic line. The ultimate in high performance engineering. With oscillating twin piston engines, rack and pinion steering, state-of-the-art life-saving features, and a gear-shifting network for movement and precision control. So if you visit your local dealer, you can check out the latest models. Lego Technic. Technically speaking, it rules. Each building set sold separately. posing as a bidder must be around here somewhere. Come in, Brain. I've placed the homing device on the coins. You keep an eye on Uncle Gadget. <sighs> hmm. Nobody in here. Aha! It's you! You're under arrest! I've got you surrounded! Yes, Dr. Claw. I'll have all the coins in a short while. I'm on my way to pick up the real coins. You stay and auction off the phonies. <laughs> it's too risky to go back to the closet. I'll have to monitor the coins from here. Show me where they're going. Stop, thief! Thief? I knew he was no detective. Stop, thief! The homing signal stops here. The coins must be in this room. Come in, Brain. Bring Uncle Gadget to Professor Venom's room. Quick! So there you are! Stop, thief! Stop, thief! Excellent. Only I, Professor Venom, could train you snakes to do this. Now, to get these coins to Dr. Claw. He's taking the coins to Dr. Claw! Ah! Ah! <laughs> After her. Stop! Thief! Go, go, gadget skates! <laughs> 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 
Someone else. I'm just terribly modest, Chief. When you're the world's greatest detective, you have to be. Your end is coming, Gadget. I promise you, your end is coming. Are you going to fix the garage door, Uncle Gadget? It's only jammed. I'll fix it later. That's nothing compared to the repairs needed at the First Penny Mansion. Say, race you to the house. Go, go, Gadget Skates. Wowzers. Uncle Gadget, are you okay? Yes, Penny. It doesn't take much to cause an accident. That's right, Uncle Gadget. Proper home maintenance means fixing something as soon as it's broken. And that's why I fix this door now instead of later. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, go under the sea. Come on. With Sebastian's rockin' and everybody's talking about that awesome Ariel in the all-new Disney's The Little Mermaid, Saturday on CBS Kid TV. This is CBS. Maestro, give me a cord. Now, safety rules can be cool if you know what you're looking for. So when I unplug, this lightning bug would never pull the cord. When wires are frayed, I get away and head on down the road. Cause I change the scene if you know what I mean and lighten this heavy load. You got to be cool with cords, my friend. You got to be cool with cords. You ask me, you got to be. You got to be cool with cords. Yeah. yeah.
big western howdy, buckaroos and buckarettes. I bet you wonder why we're whispering, saddle pals. I know I am. We're whispering because we don't want Sourdough to hear us. Thanks, Buffalo Bill. I knew there was a good explanation, Saddle Pals. Why don't we want Sourdough to hear us? Because, Woody Paul, today's our old sidekick's birthday. Yep, it's Sourdough's birthday, and we don't want him to know. Why don't we want him to know it's his birthday? He knows it's his birthday, Woody Paul. We don't want him to know about the surprise party we're having for him. Oh, right. And that's why we're whispering, isn't it? Right! Sometimes I think they named him Woody, because that's what he is between the ears. Ah, ah, ah. I resent that remark, Two Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, here come the saddle pals. Shh. Meet us by the corral. They're going to take Sourdough to school with him so we can fix up the party without him knowing about it. Anybody see Sourdough? Looks like the coast is clear. Let's move out. Backseat critters, drink up! <laughs> you know what today is? <laughs> That's right! Oh, I knew you critters wouldn't forget my birthday! <laughs> hey, Saddle Pals, you know what to do, don't you? Sure do, Ranger Dog. Party plan phase one. Take Sourdough to school with us. Party plan phase two. Signal you by yodeling when we bring him back to the ranch. Party plan phase three. Party! Yay! It's gonna be great. I'm a real party animal. <laughs> <laughs> I love parties too. I'm a real party succulent. <laughs> Say, Ranger Dog, do you think we have time to see one of those exciting cliffhanger adventures of Riders in the Sky? Yeah! yeah. I think so, Bobby. Woody Paul, twirl that magic lasso. Ah. And now it's time for another exciting adventure of Riders in the Sky! Today's epic. Wait a minute, I'm not supposed to be on camera. I'm a voiceover announcer. Okay, but if I'm on camera, you'll have to pay me more money. Me and my big mouth. Today's episode, Riders in the Sky versus Tunga Tahunga. Our story begins in the unlikely location of a produce section of a shop interior, where our heroes are perusing pineapples, browsing broccoli, scanning squash. We're, We're shopping. shopping. That's them. They're Riders in the Sky. Yep. That's them, all right. Looks like we've got some pens here, boys. Guess we better get out our autograph pens. It sure is nice being recognized. Of course, sometimes it's nicer than other times. Let's get them! Gosh, Ranger Doug, now I know how Metallica must have felt after the Kiwanis Club pancake breakfast. I don't think they like us. Yeah, I don't think they like us a lot. But why? Maybe they think we're aliens from outer space here to ruin their lives. <laughs> Good one, Ranger Doug. <laughs> aliens from outer space. What would make them think that? <laughs> Maybe this has something to do with it. It looks like that super villainous Tunga Tahunga is up to her old tricks. Meanwhile, on the other side of the twisted tall tale teller and editor of the Tahunga Tongue, Tunga Tahunga, is enjoying our hero's newfound unpopularity. <laughs> Ooh, there's nothing juicier than a juicy headline. <laughs> I'll bet I've just absolutely ruined the reputation of those squeaky clean cowboys. Ooh, I could just kiss myself. And I could, too. Take my picture, Jimmy. Take a memo, Lois. <laughs> you can stop your posing, Tunga. Yeah, you're already posing as a reporter, and you're nothing more than a, a, a big fib teller. And just what are you going to do about it? We're going to expose your newspaper for the no-good gossip rag that it is. We'll put you out of business, Tunga. 
Unless I put you out of business first. Flash him, Jimmy! Oh, 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 oh. How about a tongue twister, boy? These buds are for you. <laughs> Party plan phase one. Sourdough! <laughs> you know what to do, Sally. Sourdough, do you think you could take us to school? We sure, Shadow Pals, be happy to. Gosh, Key! See y'all later. Are you sure there isn't something you want to say to me before we get going? No, I can't no. think of anything. Have a nice trip to town. That's what I was afraid of. Come on, Shadow Pals. <laughs> Bye. 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 Riders in the Sky will return after these messages. Let's find a good spot and have some honey nut Cheerios. Honey nut Cheerios? Honey and nuts, here I come. Let's eat. As part of a complete breakfast, it's irresistible. Mm -hmm. Hey, B, you serve. We'll eat. It's irresistible. Once you blow them up, you'll never put them down. They're mini blow up beach balls, and one's free in every marked box of Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm feeling blue. Very blue. Cause something's new. Jello's blue. That Jello's got the Jello's got the berry blues. Jello introduces berry blue gelatin with the wild fruity taste of raspberries and blue. I'm Sir Chomps a lot. I've lost control for these little raviolis in this great big bowl. To the chomp! It's a ravioli rum. To the chomp! Your feet are to stomp. To the chomp! To the chomp! To the chomp! New Chef Boyardee Sir Chomps a lot. Bite sized beef or cheese ravioli so good, you just gotta. To the chomp! Excuse me, <laughs> while I jump. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee! And now back to more fun with Riders in the Sky. Come and get it! Let's giddy up, kids! <laughs> Sounds like the Wild West Puppet Saloon is wilder than weeds today! <laughs> <laughs> Teacher's pet, we mustn't say anything to Sourdough about his birthday, or we'll ruin the surprise. I'll remember, teacher. I never forget anything. Oh, well, that's right, you don't. That's one of your more annoying, well, I mean endearing qualities. Thank you, Miss Ad Formation. You're welcome, Teacher's Pet. Oh, and thank you for not bringing me a present today. You really have been overly generous. But I did bring you a present, Teacher. Look out the window. <laughs> the cows. <laughs> well, how elaborate, teacher's pet. A herd of cattle all for me. Oh, goodness. Well, I, I'll have to stop in at the pet store and pick up some uh, chew toys. Oh, dear. I hope they've been spayed and neutered. Why, everything looks perfect, doesn't it, Wyatt? Uh, it sure does, honey bunch. Uh. Oh, you frightened Harry, my little darlings. It isn't time for the surprise yet, is it, Ranger Doug? Your puppet mom is right, Miss Calamity and Miss Commotion. But I must say, you look prettier than a prairie sunset in your party hats. 
<laughs> Here's your copy of Villain Magazine, Mr. Slocum. Give that to me. Oh, look, you've got teen smudges all over it. Oh, it's so hard to find good rock and roll pony express riders these days. And here's it? something for you, Muley. Gosh, for more? I'll take that. Later, evil guys. Later, Axel. <gasps> it's an invitation to a surprise party for that goody goody geezer sourdough. Oh, goody good goody. What do you mean? I wasn't invited. Oh, I mean, patty, bad, patty. Well, we'll see about this. Not inviting me. How dare those cowboys? I'll get even with them. I'll crash their silly party and ruin everything. Uh, oh, I'm going to that party, all right. Wild horses couldn't keep me from showing up at a party. I'm not invited. I forgot something, Mr. Slocum. Here's an invitation for you two. Oh, well, in that case, um, I'm not going. <laughs> I am the original party pooper. Hey, saddle pals. Look who's here to help me make a birthday cake for old sourdough. <laughs> It is I, senor, senor. Senor, senor is here to help me because mine didn't turn out like I planned it exactly. Did it, Mr. Adler? No, I don't say that's a real nightmare on Cake Street. <laughs> so, I'm showing to Slim how to make ice cream cone birthday cakes. Just like my sainted mother used to make for me and my little sister. I didn't know you had a little sister, senor, senor. What's her name? Senorita, senorita. Ah, that was going to be my first guess. Well, we have everything we need all laid out here. The ice cream cones. Use the ones with the flat bottoms so they stand up in the muffin pan. Yes, here's our muffin pan, and we've got some cake mix already mixed up. You can ask your mom and dad to show you how to mix it. Some frosting mix, and because these are birthday ice cream cone cakes, I brought some velas. Candles! When too slim makes a birthday cake, the candles are usually the most delicious part of it. <laughs> Oh, don't mind Mr. Adler, senor, senor. He's always joking. <laughs> Except when I'm eating two slims cooking, then I'm usually choking. <laughs> He's such a kidder. <laughs> First, you spoon in the cake mix until the cones are a little bit more than half full. Then you put the ice cream cone in the muffin pan like this. And then, we'll put them into the oven. You can ask your mom and dad to help. And then we'll just bake according to the directions on the cake mix box. And when they're done, we'll put on some frosting. Mmm. And the velas. Candles. It will be very exciting. Oh, everything too slim cooks is exciting. Not always edible, but exciting. <laughs> Surprise! Hey, it's Princess Little Running Bear that frolics in the cave of the mighty waterfall. You can call me Princess. Surprise! Surprise! Looks like almost everybody's here but the guest of honor. That's our signal to hide. Everybody in here, quick! We don't use that, that infernal yodeling. You're making my tinnitus act up. Where is everybody? <laughs> don't go away, saddle pals. Riders in the sky will be back after these messages. Now you can teach a new dog old tricks. Good Pongo. Because the stars of Walt Disney's classic movie, 101 Dalmatians, are now four opposable toys. That's Pussy. Hi, Cruella. Please, give me those puppies. <laughs> One with each Happy Meal you buy. 
Terminator's back to fight evil with his mobile assault vehicle. I've got to find Evil T-1000. Disguised as a policeman, Evil T-1000 aims to destroy. I've got you now. Who's got who? Time to get serious. New mobile assault will blow you away. The party's over, T-1000. Adios, amigo. Terminator. I'll be back. Figures and vehicles each sold separately. Terminator. Endoskeleton in the bio flesh regenerator. Activate! Now you can create your own Terminator with the bio flesh regenerator. I'm back to protect. Yeah? Think again. Battle damage. I must return to bio flesh regenerator. Add flesh compound. Activate! You are in control. Terminator created. I'm back. The BioFlesh Regenerator comes with two robotic figures and BioFlesh Compound. And now, back to Riders in the Sky. <laughs> you fellas sure need to prize old sourdough. <laughs> I thought you forgot all about me. Aww. Well, we'd never forget about your birthday, sourdough. That's right, old timer. You're part of the family. <laughs> well, I'd be bawling like a baby right now if my old tear ducts weren't so dry. <laughs> hey, how'd you like to hear your favorite song, Sourdough? Cimarron? Cimarron it is. Oh. Let's hit it, boys. Oh, yeah. Sure, swell song. Boy, oh boy, I wish I could learn to play the fiddle like you, Woody Paul. <laughs> well, Bobby, the fiddle isn't the kind of instrument that's easy to learn. Why, it takes years and years of hard practice. Well, if it's going to take that long, Woody Paul, you'd better let Bobby get started. <laughs> okay, lesson number one, hole in the fiddle. Like this, Woody Paul? That's not bad. Can I try using the bow? Okay, but don't be too disappointed if you can't get a good sound. Like I say, it takes years and years of practice. <laughs> see, see what I mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
Gee, I must be a better fiddle teacher than I thought. <laughs> To be exact. Wow. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Sarah. Make a wish and blow out the candles. <laughs> I wish that we could see the second part of that cliffhanger. <gasps> Yay! Your wish is my magic lasso's command. <laughs> and now it's time for another exciting adventure of Riders in the Sky. Riders in the Sky versus Tunga Tahunga, part two. One, unless he woke up a little late this morning, the writers' reputations were besmirched by that flabby brewer of bogus bylines, Tunga Tahunga. As we rejoin our story, our heroes are just about to face certain doom under the crushing force of Tunga's tongue. Certain doom? Not be so pessimistic, huh? I heard of tongue twisters, but this is ridiculous. What do we do, Ranger Doug? Let's give her a taste of her own medicine, boys. Follow my lead. Say, you two must be the two that Tunga wrote to us about. Are you still practicing voodoo? Huh? Yes, Tunga wrote and said you were caught practicing voodoo. At the Betty Ford Clinic with Elvis. None of that's true. Tunga, how could you? Unable to reply because of the oversized obstacle protruding from her mouth, Tunga unwittingly lets our heroes loose. Wow, talk about a retraction. I never said any of those things. And we never said we were aliens from outer space, did we, Tunga? Well, not exactly, no. It doesn't feel too good when lies are told about you, does it, Tunga? Well, not exactly, no. Maybe now you'll print an apology and set the record straight. Well, not exactly, no! And so, Tunga left our cowboys with no other choice than to wash her mouth out with a giant bar of soap. You leave us with no other choice than to wash your mouth out with a giant bar of soap, Woody Paul. No! No, not the giant bar of soap! All right, all right, I apologize! Apology accepted. But you haven't heard the last of Tunga to Hunga! Oh, <laughs> yes, we have, because those were the last lines of dialogue that were written for this exciting episode of Riders in the Sky! <laughs> this is the best darn birthday you sidekick ever had! <laughs> Do we have time for a sing-along? We sure do. What would you like to hear, Sourdough? Oh, I know. How about Echo sing along where we all repeat what you sing. Ah, I'm going to leave old Texas now. Excellent choice, sourdough. <laughs> Move just grassy, senor, senor. <laughs> oh, maybe I can bounce on the words for the saddle pals at home. Well, you're the birthday boy, sourdough. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Texas now, oh Texas now, they've got no use, they've got no use for the Longhorn cow, for the Longhorn cow, they've plowed and fenced, they've plowed and fenced my cattle range, my cattle range, and the people there, and the people there are all so strange, are all so strange. I'll bid adieu, I'll bid adieu to the Alamo. The and turn my face, and turn my face to Mexico, the to fiddle Mexico. solo. Saw, 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 scrape, 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 noodle, 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 comes a fast one. Yeah. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Old Texas now. Old Texas now. They've got no use. They've got no use. For the Longhorn Cow. For the Longhorn Cow. Let's make cow noises. 
And now these messages. Ronald McDonald here, welcoming you to the McNugget Games! Our first event, gymnastics. Good luck, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Under the ring now for boxing. Gotcha. <laughs> We've got a close one at the hurdles. Looks like he won by a nose. Let's see what our judges think. Guilty! <laughs> Under the high jump. Hi. 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 <laughs> Don't forget your favorite event, Ronald. Oh, yeah. When you believe in magic. Archery. <laughs> Batman Returns, the greatest new cereal Gotham City has ever known. Now it's marshmallow and chocolate flavored. With the amazing new Batmobile and incredible new villains. Catwoman. The Penguin. It's deliciously crunchy chocolate flavored cereal and great marshmallow shapes. The action-packed cereal that's part of this complete breakfast. Batman Returns, there's never been a cereal like it. Aloha, kids! Dino Pebbles has three new marshmallows! And what I wouldn't do to taste them! Aloha! Chief! My Princess Hula needs a partner for the siphon contest! Certainly! And I need a marshmallowy mouthful of these new suns, palm trees, surfboards, and of course, Dino's! Mm, marshmallowy dino licious. <laughs> dino? Bonnie, my Dino Pebbles! It just serves up! Pump's Dino Pebbles cereal part of this nutritious breakfast! No saddle pals, most of the time it doesn't take too much to make your friends and family feel good. That's right. All it really takes is for you to say a kind word or lend somebody a friendly helping hand. And before you know it, you've made somebody feel really good. And here's a secret for you, saddle pals. If you make someone you know feel good, you know what happens? You make yourself feel good too. And that's a fact. So long, saddle pals! So long, Saddle Pals, it's been so good to see you. Farewell, Saddle Pals, we really hate to leave you. Keep those faces smiling around your own corral. So until we meet again, goodbye, Saddle Love troll kids? They're mysterious creatures and they live underground because they're so special. They have long, long hair. You know why? Because if you rub the hair, you get good luck. Do they live in other um, planets? Mm -hmm. Like South America and... I know they live in New York. Troll Kids by Russ. You'll find troll kids for your kids at your friendly neighborhood store. Pop in the colored pegs and follow the patterns. It's easy to make beautiful pictures with Light Bright. Or create your favorite characters with Light Bright refills, like Disney's Beauty and the Beast, Tailspin, and The Little Mermaid. Light, bright, light, bright. Turn on the magic of shining light. Light Bright from Milton Bradley.